Hello and welcome to my new video. When I'm streaming on Twitch, people often ask me, Oh that senpai, how do I get as good as you at AoE 2? Now I'm not the best player, but I decided it is about time to share some of my gameplay wisdom with you guys. So, in this video, I will show you some general tips on how to improve your gameplay. Making villagers should be the first thing you do once your game launches and is the key to having a strong economy. Ideally, you want your TC to never be idle. This means constantly checking your TC to see if you have villagers queued. Sometimes you will need to force your villagers to drop off food to afford the next villager. This is called force dropping resources. Not having enough food and also getting housed will cause idle time in your TC. If you get housed, you can research loom. Make sure to always have sheep under TC and to lure your boars in time. Generally, you want to go lure the next boar when the first one has 175 food left. 200 if the boar is a bit far. Always making villagers is one thing, another one is making sure all of them are working. Remember to check for your idle villagers often by using your assigned hotkey. You can also see your idle villager count next to your population count. Waypoints are used to plan a unit's next actions. This not only makes scouting a lot easier, but can also reduce idle time on your villagers. Here, I set the first waypoint on the house being built and the next one on the sheep. To set waypoints, you hold down the shift key while right-clicking with your mouse. You let go of shift on your final click and the unit will follow any waypoints you've made. Here, I assign the boar villagers to take the sheep next, and here, I send the monk to pick up the relic and bring it back to the monastery. Now that I explained how to use waypoints, I want to say a few things about scouting. As the game begins, you want to focus on scouting around your base and finding your resources. To do so, you can use the scout and also your sheep. Remember to always keep at least one sheep under your TC. I generally send my scout to explore the front of my base first to avoid having my extra sheep lamed and to see which resources are forward. Next, I send the scout around in bigger circles. I send my sheep around the TC in smaller circles and look for wood lines and berries. Don't send them too far if you don't want to lose them to the enemy scout. Once you have found your sheep and boars and you know the location of your woodline, berries, main gold and stone, you can go look for the enemy base. It's usually located on the opposite side of the map, although sometimes you can be closer to each other. Check for gold and stone piles on the way for clues to where the base is. If you see a 4 tile gold pile, you know you're close to your enemy's base. If you have trouble finding your starting sheep at the start of the game, you can also use a villager to look for them. Let the other two villagers build the first house so you don't get housed. There are two ways to wall. Walling around your base and walling your resources in to keep the villagers working there safe. For walling, you can either use buildings or palisade walls, and of course, later on, stone walls. If you're in danger, you can speed up the walling process by not letting the villager finish the building and manually forcing them to build quicker by clicking each tile manually. This is also known as quick walling, although it's a bit cooler when you're actually being attacked. Locking your gate and sending a unit outside your base will allow you to see if there are any holes. And, as the saying goes, there's always a hole. Lights 
My last tip for you today is to improve your economy by making sure your villagers are working properly. These guys really like to get stuck on top of one another, run around and just being inefficient. You can make their jobs easier by distributing them around resources evenly. For example, you don't want to have all villagers on one side of the lumber camp, you want two or so on each. This is especially important in the early stages of the game, where every bit of resource matters. Disaster. You want to kill your boars and sheep under your TC in such a way so that the villagers don't have to walk to drop the food off. This one looks tricky, but in the end it was pretty much perfect. Make sure to replace your lumber camps once your villagers have chopped some wood away to save them long trips and get your resources quicker. You also don't want to have too many villagers working at one spot. I think gold and stone miners especially like to be inefficient and often decide to mine gold as far as possible from the mining camp, so make sure to show them where you want them to mine. This example is not too bad, but you can see me rage about this particular issue in my stream every time. This was 5 tips from ProDebt for you guys. Please like this video and let me know in the comments if you found this helpful. Subscribe to my channel to see more content in the future. This is the first video I tried to edit properly since my ASMR one. It took way too long and uh, too much effort, but <laughs> I hope you guys enjoyed it. Catch you in my Twitch chat!